Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, it's just a little one about my new camera. Uh, during the week, well, five days ago, I went and got myself a little Fujifilm X100S. This little bad boy here. And I've, had, I've been shooting for five days now. And it's love, man. I, this thing's, man, it's freaking great uh, for street photography. Uh, I wanted something a little bit more compact than my Sony. And I've been looking at reviews and forums and things and people love the X100 series from Fujifilm because obviously they're quite small and I can just be like click, click, click and it's got silent mode so it doesn't, there's no light shining, there's no beeps, no shutter sound. The Sony has quite a chunky shutter sound, the uh, A6000, but this one is silent and which allows me to kind of get closer to people. Sometimes I just pretend like I'm just, oh, what is this? Click, 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 right in people's face, which is pretty sneaky, but all this stuff's important with street photography. Um, it's not about being sneaky, sneaky. You're not doing anything wrong, You're just capturing images. Um, but yeah, this one, it, uh, it's expanded my, um, well, it's given me more options basically with street photography because with the Sony, I'm not one of these people that likes to get up in people's faces and just do this. So I just, this little bad boy. Um, it's, it's pretty unforgiving, has to be said. Um, you do have to, well, I say that, it's, what I mean is it's not just a point and shoot, click, 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 click. Um, you do need to play with your settings. It's got all the dials up here. It's, um, you know, it's a fully functional camera. It's got a, a fixed lens, which is a 23 millimeter, and it's the lens is it's a beautiful little lens. I think all the X100s there, the 100, the S, the T, the F. I think they all have pretty much the same lens, and um, the autofocus. It's not the quickest thing in the world, but on the S, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty usable. Um, it's got a great little setup on the camera, all the dials. I won't go into a camera review too much, but um, got a nice little viewfinder, and you have the option of being a like a traditional viewfinder or um, a digital viewfinder, which a little screen pops up in there, which I, I use mostly. But um, it's just so versatile. You can do so much with this. People use these for landscapes and they produce beautiful images. Um, it's got a uh, built-in two-stop ND filter, which I haven't played with yet, but um, I'm just, I've ordered a, a thumb grip, which just slots onto the hot shoe and a soft shutter button. And I've ordered a, a strap. I've just got a hand strap at the moment, but it's light. The battery's good. I've got two batteries with this one. Um, yeah, if you're getting into street photography on a budget, um, definitely look into getting an X100 by Fujifilm. They are fantastic and they just look so cool. Like, it just looks awesome. You know, old school. People look at this and they don't, it's less confrontational than a big DSLR or, you know, big, huge camera. They see this and they're just like, oh, it's a tourist, whatever. It's how I like it. I usually carry a backpack. So, and look as touristy as possible, which is great. But um, I've taken a whole bunch of photos this week, like in five days, a whole bunch. So um, I'm just gonna show you a bunch of photos now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, if you like uh, street photography, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If not, that's all right. Have a great day. Enjoy the video.